Hello, it's Helder here, and today I want to go ahead and try and sharpen this axe hatchet multi-tool that I use when I go camping. Uh, I've been using it for the last couple years, not really taking too good care of it, and the blade end is extremely dull. So knowing that I have my Wicked Edge 130 sharpener, I wanted to go ahead and see if I could tackle this project and see what kind of results I would get. Now on the 130 model, which I have here, it comes with these uh, jaws that are standard and they're a bit small for what I need. I need about a quarter inch clearance. So a while back, I had actually picked up these generation three jaws that are good for a quarter inch because I wanted to sharpen my M9 bayonet. I actually made a video on that. If you want to check it out, I'll place it in the top right now. So since I had that quarter inch jaws that should give me enough clearance for sharpening this uh, ax, it should be able to do the trick. If you want to go ahead and see my results, stay tuned. So as we get started, first things first, I need to see if my actual tool here that I'm trying to sharpen fits into these jaws, which I think they will. And once again, they're the quarter inch jaws that I bought as an attachment or an add-on to this WE-130 sharpening system. So now that I know it fits, go ahead and put my little Wicked Edge tool in here. Place my axe. Make sure everything's nice and level. And I can go ahead and cinch it down. And that is not going anywhere, as you can tell. So luckily, we have a good fit time to move on so the next thing I need to do is find my angle here so that I could set it up and make sure that I am making the proper content with the edge here of my tool so that I can go ahead and sharpen it and the way that I do that is the way that Wicked Edge actually taught me initially which is to use a magic marker I'll go ahead and place that on the edge where I want the sharpening to occur using one of the lighter stones okay in this case I'll use the thousand because I just want to lightly find this angle rather than taking off uh, more metal for absolutely no reason and I went ahead pretty much on the last notch that I have here on my system and as I put it on here lightly going ahead and getting that marker off looks like I'm aligned well very little to spare but it should be good to go so let's get started since the blade on this uh, axe is extremely dull I'm gonna go ahead and give it a few swipes starting with the 100 and working my way up okay time to stop and check a little bit well, that's feeling good there definitely getting a nice edge okay one thing to keep in mind is always make sure that you wipe off your stones get rid of any any debris even uh, from these rougher ones all the way to the lighter ones just because you don't want them contaminating one or the other and of course getting all this loose debris caught on one of your uh, finer stones so always wipe them down before you put them away time to move on to the 400 stones and I'm uh, pleasantly surprised so far. It's the first time I'm actually trying this out. And this is really feeling like it's uh, coming together, getting a great edge. And I'm only on the 400 stones. So let's see what comes next. Okay, let's give it a try here. Man, it's getting sharp. Feeling good. Feeling smooth. Okay, let's move up to the 600s. Okay. Feeling good. Getting nice and sharp here. No burrs at all at this point. And uh, to be honest, I think it's pretty good at this point. But since I do have the higher stones out, might as well give it a quick passes with the 800 and with the 1000. So let's get that started. Don't forget to wipe down your stones after use. Don't 
on with the 800s. Switch over to the thousands for a quick pass. And we should be good. Let's see what we got here. It's feeling really, really good. I don't know if you could tell this debris that I have on my fingers. That's what you want to wipe off so that you don't contaminate and ruin your stones and make them unserviceable before their time. So this is feeling great here. Definitely very sharp. Uh, possibly even sharper than when I got it from the factory itself. It's got a little piece of paper here. rubbing it gently not even pressing it's looking pretty good i mean we're talking about an axe blade here something that was completely dull so i'm uh, happy with the results i was really unsure how this is going to work out but decided to give it a try and let's just say i'm extremely happy that's one heck of an edge and i made this unserviceable tool that many people especially friends of mine would have thrown away uh, once it got to uh, that point and just purchased another one well luckily wicked edge comes through one more time and uh, and made another one of my blades wicked sharp